They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it will take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into it. Oh, <laughs> oh so it's a mystery today. Oh, uh, man. No, I really wanted that sound back because uh, there's a lot of things that we say that uh, are mysterious or uh, th this year's about to be fucking out of body experience. out of body experience yeah out fire. of body or out of pocket so mm. that's that's just a sound i wanted back but um no i know that um our what was it our thursdays our thursdays uh, live stream went very well yeah that was awesome <laughs> yeah it was uh that's fun it yeah, was yeah like a detour from the norm yeah exactly and, and you know you know you know us we we just you never know what we're gonna pop out with every episode that we do um if you guys are wondering why we are it's, it's uh monday we are recording for tuesday's episode it's Mar martin luther martin luther day um yeah we're recording for tuesday's episode because apparently i have a midship at work so i won't be able to do that live tomorrow so we're kind of doing it early and then releasing it for you guys tomorrow at uh five o'clock but um no man um the uh, thursday's <laughs> what milk jr <laughs> no, no no but um no i i really uh enjoyed uh thursday's episode it's like um even even recapping the film helped us and then we started picking up even more things oh, that he yeah, said dude. what the fuck like um what was it peace uh, has cost you your strength yeah and victory has defeated you defeated you um i kept fucking that up we kept saying victory has weakened you yes but yeah peace has cost you your strength victory has, has defeated, defeated you in the sense of he's known peace so long since he's defeated joker and and uh scarecrow that mm -hmm. he uh um didn't f f see the need to he was chilling he was comfortable yeah yeah didn't see the need to continue training he's or stopping villains or anything like that yeah. and of course his mindset he his ego was so high he didn't feel like he felt like nobody could beat him so he didn't feel the need that to continue to train and that's what they meant by but that's what sucks about being a hero it's what? like once you don it it doesn't end you're a slave to it now yeah it doesn't end that that's you <laughs> yeah we can talk about you know like what's right and wrong mm -hmm. you know like you should have the freedom to oh you owe nobody anything right yeah you, you don't owe these people anything yeah and that's what uh cat um you cat woman said in the film she's right. like you don't owe these people you don't owe them anything anything yeah you know so it's like that that one that falls on you you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and two it's like what are you willing to like if if you were that such of a force mm -hmm. that you kept a semblance of hope or balance in yeah. society, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, because the idea again, like you said, Batman was a symbol. Um, anybody could be be right. him, and it's to strike fear in criminals so they don't do the crazy shit. Anyone could be him, but no one had the resources to be him. To exactly, be him. you see what I'm saying? Exactly. So it was just like. <laughs> Because he took that responsibility upon himself, mm -hmm. it was just like, that's it. That's for life, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know I agree with that. So, if he had known that, you know, he should have stayed on his toes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. You felt like, all right, I restored peace. I deserve a break. Mm -hmm. But not really. No, yeah. Just because you not think really. crime has stopped doesn't mean nah, it yeah. actually stopped. Okay? Right. They're just not doing it in broad day because exactly. they know you're here or in in the night or some shit. Like exactly. That. Right. So you got to keep them. You got to keep them scared. Keep them thinking that that uh, they're still um, mm -hmm. they're still that you're still out there. But I mean, but again, like I mean, Bane did it perfectly. Um, again, we talked about how it's uh, very controversial to say that the third movie is better than the second one. Um, character 
character wise um yes but not film wise you see what i'm saying and I again i stand on my stance when i said the only reason why people went to go see it not knowing if if um it was good or bad. It feels good or bad, but because he died, right, is the reason why they went to see it. But as soon as they watch it, they're like, "Oh shit!" His final film was the one of the greatest films that he has ever done. Mm-hmm. So it's like that left a stamp in in history, even though it came out two thousand eight. People still love the movie. So, but no, no yeah. So I kind of, I kind of, kind of just wanted to touch up on that. But uh, it was a very good episode. I, I liked it. Um, Oh, it, it was, was different. It was off it was the dope. cuff, and Reaper of Army course, came through. yep, Reaper Army did come through. Thank, I appreciate you, Vic. Shouts out, Caleb. Shouts out, Caleb. Appreciate, appreciate you guys for stopping by. For yeah, sure. gave us a, a couple things to dive into and all that stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But um, today is uh, history lesson. History welcome, lesson. Welcome to. Uh, uh, we're welcome gonna to, learn. Welcome to the history lesson of uh, tabletop topics, where. Uh, we're uh we're gonna learn about some history today and uh and uh what are we uh what are we uh about to dive into jeff what, Ooh, are, what are we gonna what are man, we gonna talk about you know it's tough you know what i'm saying Be, being uh older i'm old. an i'm an old man right you yeah know i know that being, being a younger older millennial uh-huh right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. right because i'm like the last of the, the last of your kind of the millennials yes. you know what i'm saying so i kind of got a whiff of the way gen you're in the z, middle right you're in the, the middle way gen z was yeah. kind of moving and shit so like from a distance i get it yeah you know what i'm saying i don't understand alpha mm-hmm. they do their thing you know what I'm saying? yeah yeah because half of them are what what are they, like 15 16 now i don't know no i don't even know what uh, that motherfucker start i well, gotta yeah we gotta they say 2010 or something or 2015 it's yeah it's 2015 to 2025 there you go that's gen alpha that's gen alpha okay so whoever was born uh 2015 to 2025 that's alpha okay. uh 2014 to 2000 to, to 1998 is gen z. z okay so you why is that such a big spread compared it's to 12 your... it's every 12 years oh really yes all of them so 98 to 2015 is, is 12 years I would have to look it up. Or would it be 2010? It'd be 98 to 2010. There you go. And then 2011 to 2025. Five, I guess. Right. Because why would you say 2022? That is dumb as hell. Because it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. So 2011 to 2025 is alpha. Okay. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, So (laughs) pretty much, you know, growing up, we had our own cool hip lingo you know i heard the like the crazy words you guys used to come up with Mm -hmm. that's crete you know what i'm saying that's crete that's crete yeah Uh, what's another one oh yeah 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 i remember that Mm -hmm. um what is it what's another one damn yeah you're right you crete you crete i remember that that was like back in middle school for me word you feel me so it's just like the the different lingos, the way English evolves. I already tell you, you know, yeah. I like English, but I hate ling- English because mm-hmm. it's it's stupid. Yeah, our English language is 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 it's stupid. our English language is 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 stupid and crazy at the same time. Because right. when you ask, when you ask, <laughs> when you're trying to translate uh, something funny in a different language. The person doesn't get it because they don't understand the humor behind the it. Co- colloquial, the colloquial, right. the colloquial behind it. So it's like when when we do our shorts and we put it on YouTube and stuff like that. Even though we put it in different languages, they don't really understand it. Even mm-hmm. though it's translating to their language, because certain words that we say and the way we say it, it's like I don't get it. It's not Be- a one to one. Yes, because they take it. They take it literally. Mm-hmm. So they assume that we're literally talking about what we're joking right. about. Right. So they don't understand that because it's a when joke. When we s- state a, in, in most languages, when you name an object, you define a noun, it's mm-hmm. usually inferred in how you're using that noun. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But like to translate that into English, English has nouns, proper nouns, mm-hmm. pronouns. Uh, pronouns, adverbs, adjectives, to, de- adjectives yeah. to describe the noun. So it's like. When you're translating into English, you have to now apply all these rules exactly to explain how this object is moving through space-time. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like 
it's like um it's like if we were to say um like a racist joke or uh or, or funny joke mm-hmm. somebody would get it like people associate watermelon with black people or people yeah. associate um people associate um spanish stuff with spanish people or people associate uh no salt in food with white people like there's 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 <laughs> and i'm not saying that's all but um the way the way um our society is in the United States. We understand it as a joke, but if right, we were we to just, it's there. Yes, you know yes. What I'm saying, if right. we were to translate that slang into into their language, it's like I don't get it. It's like a group thing. Exactly. Like, so you have to break it down and explain the history behind why. But here's the thing: like among other shared languages and cultures, you know, like the joke can be the 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 joke. You can still share that joke with other cultures, of except course. for English. Exactly. Except for English-speaking cultures, because they won't, <laughs> they won't get it. They won't get it. Yeah. They won't get it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, I don't know. Like I want to get back to you know just like how slang words or you know just speak English. Hip words have evolved. Yeah. Like over time, but it's like. I don't know, some of the words that we consider normal English were hip or even considered, you know, like improper English yeah. back in the day. Yeah, of course. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like even, oh, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That's just common. Oh, that's cool. Sure, why not? Mm-hmm. Are you cool with going to, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, back yeah, in the yeah, day, yeah, yeah. like cool was like, oh, man, like. You see what I'm saying? There was like weight behind something being cool. Well, yeah, and that's and that's the thing too. There's certain slang words that um, that actually um, make it through the test of time. Like cool, for example, mm-hmm. started back in the 1930s, and um, I was uh, watching a video on ling- lingui- linguistics, mm-hmm. um, and they were basically saying cool started in the 1930s because of jazz. Because um, yeah. people in Louisiana that were playing jazz, they all of a sudden added, started adding cool and hip and, and cool to their songs, and then it translated into the 1950s. They said it. Uh, they they said it died down in the 70s because they came up, came out with tubular or uh, tubular. yeah, tubular and all that stuff <laughs> like that. Radical, but, yeah, radical, <laughs> all that stuff like that. You know how it is. Far out, you you know those words. Far out, yeah, bro. far out, tubular, oh, all that stuff like that. So that it died down, nice. but then it picked right back up in the nineties, and then it continued to this day. Yes, we add other words to it, like we'll say cool beans. Like I always say cool beans, and people mm-hmm. look at me like I'm like super old. Cool beans, but that's a word that word. that and and it's crazy right, because right, that's cause a word. I say word. Yeah, because the uh, cool beans was uh, originally from the seventies, died out, and then I started saying it, and they're like. My, and then I'm having older people come up to me and say, oh, my mom used to say that. And I'm like, oh, I said, really? They're like, where'd you hear that from? I said, no, I just started saying it. I and, feel like. It could have been subconsciously from watching mm-hmm. something and I just picked it up. Or I overheard it through a YouTube video or something like that. But I just held on to it and I just started saying you it You know myself. what's so fun about English? What? If you just understand the rules of English, you can just throw a whole bunch of bullshit together. Mm. And it will make sense. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, you, you can say a whole bunch of nothing, nothing, and it'll make sense. It'll no, make I feel sense, it. I feel bro. it. You feel me? As long as you follow, like the rules of grammar and sentence structure, and mm-hmm. you know, and all that shit, you can really just say whatever you want, and it'll make sense. You know, and of course, you've seen the whole example, like Buffalo, Buffalo, mm-hmm. Buffalo, Buffalo. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's a, even an interesting example. Yeah, exactly. So buffaloes from Buffalo, New York, bully other buffaloes, buffaloes from, from Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. <laughs> that's our English language. <laughs> ah, it's crazy. That's our English language. I love that. So you guys are probably wondering why we're um, we're talking about. Um, so what what we're basically talking about is um, slang and. This this idea came up because, um, you know me, like I always say, I observe, mm-hmm. and we had the conversation last time because we we're literally saying that we we're gonna bring, we we're gonna be talking about um, language and what it is, but the idea came up because I was observing, um, one of the, um, our uh, one, um, Jesus Christ, Jeff, um, 
I was observing uh, a co-worker. Her name is Sam. Mm. Shout out to you. Thank you for giving me the idea. She said I can shout her out. So um, shout out to you, Sam, because we did our due diligence. We did our uh, some some research on it. I didn't go like into a rabbit hole of research, but um, enough to to talk about it. But um, basically, I was just observing um, language, uh, slang, how how every generation says a certain thing, and it's like certain things that she was saying. I kept saying, "What? What did you say? What does that mean?" And then because she was speaking in slang, and you you, you know how in, in back in the day it was like hieroglyphics. That's how they spoke. Boy, me, <laughs> me, we're just gonna be speaking. <laughs> we just speak. So the sign language into a bird, you're like, all right, I know what that right. symbol means. So That's um, crazy. no, but uh, no, but uh, like I said, shout out to her because she's the one that kind of put me um gave me that idea because I'm sitting there trying, I'm sitting there listening to um how um young kids today speak and adults speak. So it's like I wanted to deep dive into where slang mm -hmm. kind of started, where it originated from, where it is now, and where it might be in the future. So I kind of dove in on some research, and then I found out the origin of slang was created in 1600 by thieves, uh, tramps, criminals, and vagabonds. Hoodlums, degeneracy. Degeneracy from uh, all, all, walks of, all walks of life. And the only reason why they created it was to confuse authorities, especially when they were uh, create, uh, uh, committing a crime or trying to do... Um, it was like code words. Yeah, yeah. Pretty it was much. basically yeah, code words. That's, it, that's literally what it is. Yeah, and then of course it's uh, slang referred to the vocabulary, or the vocabulary of low or disreputable, per uh, uh, disreputable person. So um, I kind of, when I was having a conversation with her, I basically said, "If you can do me a huge favor and compile a list of the language that is used today." So she gave me a, um, she gave me a, a um, baby boomer x oh by generation millennial right. and right. z and then she compiled a list on on certain words that they use and of course uh she d uh, it's a disclaimer because of course words evolve and sometimes that word that could have meant something at that time can originally uh, originally change and uh, i also learned that it, if a word gets too popular too fast it all of a sudden dies out but sometimes it'll come back again i gave you the example of cool standing the test of time mm -hmm. um another one is booze which was invented in the year uh 1506 booze. yes booze beer drunk it, it used to mean oh. it used to mean um booze used to mean you were either um buzzed or drunk and then it changed oh, so yeah and then became wasted yeah, yeah and then it, it became and, uh 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 sauce yes and then uh, yeah fucking what and now now the original word for booze just means alcohol where it used to mean you were dr a drunk. that was yes right. that was he's a booze yeah he's a booze you're a booze you're a booze you're a booze so so that word used to mean <laughs> you're a booze yeah you need to go home but um, no, yeah. So um, no, I've learned that that uh, words do evolve. So that's why she put the disclaimer that um, what she what she, what she wrote us now um, might not be what it is uh, today. But again, um, what I found out was words can gain traction but lose traction fast, especially if it's used by the older generation. So if a uh, if you're on TikTok now or any social media platform and you see an old person using that word, then the generation tries to kill that word because they don't want to hear it. But um, I know that because um, it's what cringe because it's cringe exactly <laughs> yeah cringe, cringe. and uh, <laughs> what was the original word before cringe do you know um I don't know weird awkward weird yeah there you go exactly you see what I'm saying yeah. cringe that's yeah. easy it it's it just it just defines so many things mm -hmm. I think our words get broader and broader we start using like. <clears throat> I don't know, because when I speak, people understand what I'm saying, and I use <coughs> the least amount of words possible. And they understand what you're saying. And they understand exactly. That's the what crazy the part. Saying. Yeah. Like I try to speak English using the least amount of words possible. That's why the bigger the word, the more idea or of a concept it can, you know, like encapsulate. Yeah. Boom. There you go. Shortcuts. Exactly. Shortcuts in language. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, prime example, you're talking to me. I'm like, oh, word? And then I'll just be like, word. Well, didn't we... I know they did a, a ridiculous example on, on social media where they were just putting the uh, the abbreviation... Not the, the abbreviation of the... Like, the letters of the word. Like, R R E E say... Let's say, lol... They were like saying they they weren't saying the entire word. That's how they're just speaking in the text. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like you either understood what it what it meant. It's like <clears throat> trying to slide. Bad. Yeah. Netflix and chill. No, that's old as <laughs> shit. Get the fuck out of here. That's compilation. <laughs> See, you are uh, really, shit. Yep. See, that's how you know more. That's, that's tough. Mystery. Oh <laughs> uh, shit. That's good. Oh uh, man, do you want to read some of the? Uh, it was like the other day I heard something called a a, a bop. What's a bop? Like, like I don't know. It was like three signs you're with a bop or some shit. Like I, was like, I don't fucking know what that mean, bro. That's how you know we're out of touch. Yeah, I'm like a bop. So we just gonna go and hey, bop. But it's just a recycling of old words. Yeah, yeah. And then giving it a new definition. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like. If I say, oh, man, that's crazy, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that's actually, like, me. Yeah, there's, like, you know there's like three different ways you can say, right. uh, or a lot of different ways you can say that's, that's uh, like, remember when they invented cray-cray? Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't there for long until old people started using it. Cray-cray was cringe off a of rip. Yes. Girl, I just say that's cray. You're so cray. When, they started, cray. when they started saying it on um, Proud Family, that was it. I just, what I do, I just cut the end of the word off. That's cray. That's cray. I don't say cray. I say craze. I say oh, the crazy. beginning of the C, of the Z. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I'll say, oh, like, usually I'll have, literally, I can have a whole conversation with you saying, for show, oh, word, word, bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, crazy. like, now Gen Z is using the word bet. And then That's I was crazy. like, yeah, the first time I heard, um, the first time I heard Michael, Michael say bet, I'm like, what's bet? Like we talking about a bet or what? What are we talking it's about? Like it's an affirmative. It's like, an affirmative. It's an absolute. Like hey, I got you. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. You bet. know what I'm saying? Bet. But, yeah, like we're gonna get it done. Like it, it before it was like put something on it, mm -hmm. on something. Mm -hmm. You know, put it on something. Yeah, and we could just say bet. Mm -hmm. When you bet, you bet on something. I get it. I get you know it. What I'm I feel bet. it. You know what I'm saying? But. That's probably old now. I'm just telling you what I knew yeah. from from my times. Well, like um, times. like uh, I had to look up the because you hear you hear the word um, you hear the word baddie all the time. So I had to look up the definition of baddie. Oh, a baddie. Uh, and it says a girl that can hold her own and looks good in any attire she wears with or without makeup. So because all I hear that a lot. But it's like, right. <laughs> I don't Before know. it used to be like, oh, she fine, mm -hmm. or she a dime, mm -hmm. or uh, she a 10, yeah. or what should we call it? Uh, shit. There's a whole bunch of, and then now it's just baddie. Baddie. Or, or is it a baddie? Yeah. No, boss babe. Boss babe. And there you go. Boss babe. Yeah, yeah. She's a boss baby. She's now. a boss. So baddies out of the question anymore. We're not. They don't use that word anymore. Mm. Dude, I'm out the loop. I don't know. I'm out the loop. That what well, again too. That's why I wanted to. That's why I wanted to do some research on it because um, I know in the year 1666, words that can insult a person, a person's intelligence. Never heard of it before. So I wrote a cup, a, a cup, a couple of them down. So you let me know if you've ever heard these words before. Booberkins. Why does that sound like a... Call <laughs> my boo-burkins. <laughs> no, call me my boo-burkins. Don't, don't do that. My if you If you ever call... If you ever call a girl boo -burkins. You call your, your worst enemy my boo burkins <laughs> They're going to be like, you calling me unintelligent? Are you calling me an idiot? <gasps> Oh man, I'm dead. you about to throw down with a motherfucker. It's like, my boo-burkins. <laughs> you boo-burkins. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy uh, shit. yeah yeah that's so that, that's what that's what i'm saying um another one was claude pat see i hate english you just make shit out hey this was 1699 you just man slap some consonants hey. and vowels you know yep. what i'm saying a couple syllables in that motherfucker well, 
remember we were talking about we're like yeah if we were to go back in the 1600s we wouldn't know what the fuck they were we've probably been slaves but uh we wouldn't (laughs) (laughs) jeff there's no going back in time for black people i'm sorry i'm just saying i'm I'm sorry uh we can blend in no time travel for (laughs) niggas ever (laughs) ever there's not a single Uh, point in time or you were not a slave. <laughs> That's just tough. Say. And don't say Egypt, nigga, because you were probably a slave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right. And then the next one is a dull pickle. I don't know what that is, but... Uh, a dull... A dull pickle is, is a... Is, is there a sharp pickle? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> There's a dull pickle. It's uh, basically insult. Like I said, this is to insult your intelligence. Or in modern day, we say idiot, stupid, um, the R word. All right. I, yeah. I still feel like. Yeah. You know what's really punchy and gets the point across? What? Dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's it. That's yeah. all you think. No, you I feel it. Dumb no, I feel bitch. It. That, uh, that's it. The next word is uh, nignog. I, I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Mm. Mm, I wonder. Mm, I wonder. You nignogs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we, okay. I get we probably should have Googled it. <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. Demon. Uh, yep, right? De- instantly. Instantly. And then <laughs> Jobberno. That's fake as fuck, bro. That's that's it. Job J O B B E R N O L L. Jobberno. Now is it a combination of two words or is it just a jobber no i really feel like they just said whatever i feel like in english you could just say whatever until what well, again to people this is stem, this is not stemming from america this is stemming from uh england in the 16 well yeah because 1699 origin of english I guess. Yeah, yeah for sure for sure um but uh that that's that's kind of what those were the uh, that was to insult a person's intelligence but of course you know today's modern day is to call somebody stupid an idiot a moron you know those no, we actually insult people like offhandedly. What do you mean? Because to directly insult someone, mm-hmm. you look like the loser. I got you. But if you tell someone to cope, mm-hmm. that's a better insult than just, you know. A, like you're coping? Yeah. Like if I tell oh, you to cope. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Copium yeah. or, or uh, what should we call it? Uh, what's another good example? Damn, I hate every time I, like, I'm put on the spot. I hate things. English! You know what I'm saying? For these examples. But, I don't know, like, that's just one example where I can see. Because, like, no one's going out there. Oh, like, prime example. Mm-hmm. How the, the, that whole trend of the, it's the blank for me. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, instead of saying, oh, you're broke. Mm-hmm. It's the... You know, fake Yeezys for me. Ah, okay. You see what I'm saying? saying? Like, you got to make... They're so dumb, you got to make them think about the insult. You feel me? So, basically, we're losing... We're like, losing. direct insults already makes you a loser. Uh, a loser. Okay. Right. I got... Oh, okay. I see what right. you're, I see what you're like, saying. Like, no one's going out there and just directly insulting. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They they insult your intelligence whether you understand it or, or not. not exactly. You and if you don't saying? understand it, then that's more power to them. To them, you're right. You're an idiot. That because now understand. they don't even have to engage with you. You see what I'm saying? Because you're so dumb, you don't even. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Mo- most of it is all based on uh, uh, bullshit. I don't know. I don't know how to actually like conceptualize or like give you like a, a actual word to describe it yeah but every the way you insult people now is like offhanded like prime example when me, when me and julie used to roast people online mm-hmm. and shit remember that one time we came across that instagram post i'm not gonna go into detail because it's pretty fucked up but we we're like that motherfucker look up and see brown <laughs> oh, you yes. feel me? I know what you're talking about. You feel me? I know what you're talking about. So it's like instead of saying, "Ha ha, look at the thing uh-huh. that's happening here," it's indirectly. Indirectly, I got you. You're indirectly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like 
you know, he look up, he see Brown, like, yeah. or, or what you call it, his forehead get home before he do. <laughs> you see, you see what I'm saying? So it's like, instead of just saying, "Wow, you have a big deformed head," you know, or some shit like that. You 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 do a side insult or a right, backhand right. It's insult all against indirect. Her. It's all indirect. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's all indirect. Mm. You think YOLO is still a cool trend? Absolutely, bro. That shit, bro. I was in. 2011. I was a, I was a junior in high school. Drake happened, Drake bro. came out with it in 2011, and when um, Katy Carey used it in her show with Doctor Phil and all the old old gents, they just, it killed it. It it died. But I feel like so so many new words encompass that in other <laughs> concepts mm-hmm. as well. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hmm. You talking about YOLO? Yeah. You only live once. Right. What is the new word for you only live once? Fear of missing out, FOMO. FOMO? Yeah. But that's just a I feel like that's a recycled word. FOMO has always been used in finance. Okay. And investing. The, but it's never been popular like it is now. I still think it's tailored towards finance. Amongst the young people, usually when it comes to like Everyone's a trader now. You know what I'm saying? Well, what, well, when I hear um, fear of missing out or FOMO is it's like, let's say, like taking trips or um, doing something that. You, yeah, you're right. You're right. Because right. it's like the it's fear, financial. the fear of putting something, uh, going somewhere, or doing something that requires money, money or being able to financially mm-hmm. support whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. OK, I understand that. Right. I understand that. Right. Because it's like, other than that, other than fear of missing out, what's going to cause you to miss out on something? Uh, not doing it. Not Money. doing it or being broke. Being broke. There you go. So people are busting their ass so they can actually mm-hmm. do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to kind of run through the list and see that? Or do you have questions? Um. Do, do, do. Okay, so let me see. Let's. Let's quiz each other on this shit. Okay. Because I feel like I've seen some words. Well, yeah, but for people, because you remember we got uh, older audiences listening too, so. Well, I'm a. It's kind of to like give them a perspective of what the young minds think of now, right. especially the ones, right. especially the the millennial, the older millennials that have kids that are now teenagers or. Uh, in, in. Okay, I feel like. Okay, all right. So, millennial slang, humor based in the random or quirky. Again, thank you again, Sam, for uh, making this uh, list for us. And I'm just gonna list off some examples. Uh-huh. So, <clears throat> totes, my goats. Bruh, I heard that in a long. She totes my goats. I feel that. You've never heard that? In, I haven't heard that in a long time. That's, that's what I'm saying. That was in high school. Totes my goats. That's what I'm saying. That's how I know it's millennial shit. Yep. Yep. Millennial was just dry, straight, cringe, corny type <laughs> shit, bro. That shit was Because tough. at that time, it was acceptable. That shit was tough. It was acceptable. Nah, millennial fucking hipster shit. Listen here. Me Listen here, off. young sir. Nah, All right. that blew my mind. I could never do it. Because I knew I was at the end of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you were. I was at the end of that whole thing, and I saw it. And I'm like, this shit's cringy as fuck. The fedoras, the fucking uh, the roll-up sleeve shirts. Yeah. Everyone wanted to be Neo Usher. Uh-huh. Fucking The one <laughs> pant leg up, the, the sagging of the pants. Everyone was a fucking zimp. Like, everyone wanted to do the whole nerd oh, yeah, quirky like, um, shit. Hold on. like uh, what was Everyone the wanted what to was be the, quirky. What was the name of that Neo song? <laughs> Don't suck. What was the name of that Neil song that came? <laughs> so sick. So sick. Oh, I hated that shit. Yeah, Everyone yeah. wanted to be a fucking... Or, or, a, oh, or a T-Pain. Gross. T-Pain, I'm in love with the stripper. Nah, that was gross, bro. No, but that's the thing. That was the same. It was either you were party you go, rock, but you were hold emulating. On, hold on, but there you go. That's the thing. Simp didn't exist. That shit. See, and, and, that's, <laughs> and that would have been a great era for the word cringe to yes, come along. Yes, exactly. Because it's like, I'm sitting, and all these people are talking about is, like, fucking Jersey Shore, and they're, like, emulating the fucking lingo, yep. and it's like, oh, it was so cringe. Tanning the skin. Oh, oh, oh. when the uh, grills came out. <laughs> Oof. That's tough, man. Uh, Nelly, when he came out with grills, every time a new song came out, that everybody would tough. jump on the, like, when he came out with the Air Force Ones, 
What did everybody do? They went out and bought Air Force Ones. F1! 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 Nah, nigga, Air Force Ones. F1! You ain't never seen that, Jeff. F1! No, I never seen that. <laughs> no, I never seen that, Jeff. <laughs> this man is dying right now. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. dog. You're that funny. shit. Crazy as hell. All right, so. What's next on the list? Hump Day, bro. Hump Day is a classic. Dang, Hump Day. Dying. Hump Day. Yeah, yeah. No one says Hump Day anymore. No, no. It's just Wednesday. Day. I feel it. It's yeah. just another day. <laughs> <laughs> For me, what? You think I'm keeping track of the days? Nope. I just went to sleep and woke up. Yep. Uh, cray cray. Yeah, you remember what I said, girl? Right. Why are you so cray cray? That's cray cray. Yeah, that. But that's what I'm saying. Why do you have to add the second cray? I, I just said that's cray. Well, to show you how crazy. Nah, you to show that. you how crazy the crazy okay, is. Okay, no, no, no. And then you just <laughs> level it up. What do you say? That's wild. That's nuts. I still say that's, that's nuts. That's dummy. That's nuts. That's, that's nutty. That's, that's nutty. nutty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what? You wildin'. You know? Mm-hmm. That's, that's OD. 19. That's OD. You know, overdoing it. Uh, uh, Your year starts with 19. 19. <laughs> Your year starts with 19. They're going to be like, when I have kids, they're going to be like, Dad. When, when were you born? You were born in the 1900s. 19. <laughs> Your year's nineteen. Dad, you were born in the nineteen hundreds. Um. Okay. So, adulting. I'm immortal. To do your average task that a responsible adult would do. No, I say I'm wage cucking it. <laughs> what? I don't adult. I wage cuck. What the fuck? Oh my god! Would you go, Claire, to give us the definition of wage cuck, please? Dude, I am a slave to capitalism. I oh yeah, must for sure. Pay my bills and I must pay my taxes. Oh yeah, In for order sure. To do that, I must earn an hourly wage. An hourly wage. Yep. And then yeah. we pay our taxes, and then we gotta do our taxes so against money. my will, right? If I want to enjoy <laughs> society. <laughs> Against my will, <laughs> but um, the episode of building credit, we already uh, mm-hmm. let everybody know why because uh, the rich trick the poor into starting taxes in the United States, which is why we are in the position that we are in. But that's capitalism for you, All right, bro? What is next on our list, sir? Um, doggo. What's doggo? A dog. I say pupper. Really? Yep. I just call. I just say Bruce. Or I just say dog. Come here, dog. But he doesn't come if you say yeah. dog. I call him everything but Bruce face ass. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> I call him face ass, fat ass, everything, bro. Everything but Bruce. Oh, man. Get off my bed. Get, Get off, off my, my leg. Bed. Get, Get off, off my, my leg. lawn. I can't breathe, Bruce. My leg is dying. You're not a lap dog. <laughs> Bruce, stop farting in my room. Bruce, get out of here. Bruce. <laughs> Every five seconds. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that's funny. I'm dead. What's the next word on the... Li- We're still on the millennials, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. What's next? Uh, Stan. I think Stan has continued to expand. Really? What do you, What is the modern term for like Stan? Like a Stan. Like anything. Like a person that's obsessed. Obsessed, yes. right. Yeah, because so like, Eminem came out with that in the early 2000s. A devoted fan. But like anyone can be... Like anything minimal now is a stand. Yeah, anybody can be a stand, but do they still say stand? Oh, well, you could stand. say uh, Dick Rider. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why, why, why you Why you on that nigga dick? Why you on that nigga? Get off the world, dick! Get off the world, dick! Oh, <laughs> uh, what's another one? There, there's Dick Rider, but then there's something else. <clears throat> what's another word that they use? Oh, you glazing. You're glazing. <laughs> when you glazing? glazing, bro. Oh, my God. I've never heard of that. That means that? you laying it on thick. Like, get off the nigga's nuts. Like, you're glazing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like, you're just uh, uh, glazing type shit, bro. Like, on some glaze. Like, right. Never heard that. Never heard that like, before. Like, you on that nigga nuts, bro. Mm. Um, yeah, so, Stan could, you know, dick riding, glazing. Mm-hmm. Um Shit like that. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, but you can also like use it in terms of like 
K-pop groups or a Taylor yeah, yeah, Swift stand. Yeah, yeah, because there's all, yeah. You know? But like a or, stand or, or, is I thought now. They're, they're, I thought they're called Swifties or the Swift or, Army. No, but they're an example of stands. Of stands. Before, a stand used to be an insult. Mm -hmm. It was someone who was obsessive to the point where they wanted to emulate the person. I got you. But now, you know, what was crazy back then is the norm <clears throat> now. So now, to be a fan of someone, you're now a stand. Like, you follow them. Religiously. Religiously. I got you. You know what I'm saying? But now that's uh, permeated throughout the entire population. But that's, that's not considered one normal. crazy person. Right. Yeah. If you're not obsessing over them, it's then like, you're not a real fan. It's like back in the day watching anime, you were a nerd, but now it's cool. Right. Yeah, I got you. Well, it's not even cool. It's just that's what it is. For a point in time, yeah, it was cool because everyone was coming out the woodwork like, hey, I watch anime now. Now it's not like it's not. It goes back to the whole "I want to be quirky" thing again. Gotcha. Like if you're doing something, if, I want to fit in. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. I don't care if you watch anime. Yeah. If you do or not. You now, now because of social media, it's like right. It's, it's I everywhere. want to fit in with whatever is right. the hot topic right now. Right. So, right. but everybody that was OG and old school and already doing it are the ones that are like really. I've been on this. That's lame. If you get mad for people, I'm not saying that. No, no, no. I'm yeah, just yeah, saying yeah, in yeah. general. If you get mad for if you gatekeep. <laughs> something yeah, you that, can't like that's keep. so lame yeah that's lame as give, fuck give new people opportunities to watch anime and then they'll see a different perspective but that's on. the thing like what do you mean give not give but you see what i'm saying like let people do show, whatever the show, fuck they want show you show people me? a different perspective like let people do whatever the fuck they want let them live like who cares if they just discovered one piece who cares if they've never seen naruto or inuyasha or yu yu haka show who gives a fuck who gives a fuck if they like Sakura from Naruto? She's Ooh. trash. <laughs> Stop. She, she will be trash. Stop. Forever. But still. Stop. Still. She's not. I'll, I'll just be like, you know what? Don't watch anime ever. Again. I don't think Naruto. Clearly, you're watching it wrong. I'll take Naruto's son before I take Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's but, uh, crazy. Right, that's ahead. crazy. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You know, so it's like it. when I see shit like that. You can't gatekeep. That's keep what's cringe to me. Yeah, like gatekeeping. Gatekeeping. Yeah, like why are you feeling some type of way? Who cares? Oh, you got bullied too fucking bad. That was the time. Like we can't reconcile that. Like what do you want us to do? Bullying makes you strong. You know what I'm saying? Or go to therapy. Yeah, you're yeah. bullied for watching anime. Not everyone likes anime, and you can't handle it. Go to therapy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like shit changes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel it. So I it's just it. like I don't know when. But at the time when I saw shit like that, mm -hmm. even while it was happening, it was some gatekeeping shit. Because it was like, oh, you're not cool. You can't use these words. Yeah, they would even ostracize themselves from everybody yeah. else. It was so weird. It was so weird, yeah. bro. It was weird as hell. I just speak. I just say whatever. <laughs> you just speak in English. I, my, I just reach in the, the space right above my you know frontal cortex right right above there mm -hmm. where the, the the energy force field interacts with mm -hmm. the ether you know what i'm saying and then i just grab fucking ideas out of there and, and just, insert it right and they just vomit out my mouth <laughs> and then i just i make english mm. i make the oh, english oh man i do the english um acronyms <laughs> it derived from early texting TTYL. We all know what that means. What does that mean? Talk to you later. Okay. Um, XO. Warm regards. IDK. I, I don't, don't know. I don't know. Yep. Lamau. What's Lamau? LMAO. Okay. LOL. GTFO. What's that? Oh, get the fuck out. <laughs> remember, you got, remember, we got different audience ages. So you right. Got, I feel that. Yeah. LML, OMG. Or you can say, <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah, oh my lord or OMG. Or you can say ONG, which is on God. On G oh, so on that's on God. God. I didn't know that. On God. Um, That's also another form of bet. Uh, like put it on something. So it's like bet, word, on right. God. Okay. Right. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Word for sure. Bet. I'm on learning, God. guys. I'm learning. Put it on God. You I'm know learning. what I'm saying? Put it on your mama. OMM. I might mama. be I might be from the nineteen hundreds, but I'm learning, guys. I'm dead. <laughs> 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 oh bro. Oh, man. You got uh STFU. What's that? Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Okay. TBH. KMS. To be To be honest. Okay. Um KMS. 
I would say. Kill myself. Pause. We gonna censor that motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> yep. Should yep. <laughs> Why'd you ask me, Jumps? Huh? Yep. Why'd you set up the trap for me? Yep. Now we got to Yep. Not censor. even that. Not even that. <laughs> They're going to blacklist us. Black <laughs> promoting <laughs> Sui Fuel. Yep. So we're going to <laughs> you're definitely gonna blink that out after oh, we're done with man. this. Um, people are gonna have to Google that themselves. But we're we're still in millennial territory, right? That's crazy. KMS. That's also a derivative of KYS. Okay, I gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's the thing. Like a lot of these, mm-hmm. is it a mixture between Z and millennial? Right. Okay. Right, but I think we're still in Z. Okay, so we haven't hit Z yet. So we're gonna keep going, but I'm gonna come back to that because mm-hmm. like. I use I use way more Z text acronyms than I do. Than you do, um, right? Because, like I said, you're perfectly born in the middle. I feel you that. knew the you knew the ninety the, you knew the nineties babies uh, growing up, and then you know you know the two thousand right. babies. Because I I do the whole ASL. That and you're still in your twenties too. I do the whole ASL, Zell, Dead AF. Mm-hmm. I don't even spell dead. I just put, they don't even say dead ass anymore. Yeah, I just put D D. Dead AF. Anything AF. You're dead. D E D dead. Right. <laughs> right. Or I just say T F like the fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or some shit like that. But dead AF on God mm-hmm. is dumb as fuck. This is dumb as hell. <laughs> and that's crazy because that's an entire sentence. That's a whole thing. And people understand what it is or what it what it means. Unless you're like My favorite word tweak it. You tweak it, bro. You tweak. You tweak. Bro, you tweet. You tweet. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like I said, this is very interesting. Oh, okay. So, RBF, Raging Bitch Face. I never heard that. I've I've heard heard resting, resting Bitch Face. face. Are you sure it's not Resting Bitch Face? It could be Resting Bitch Face. Uh, when someone like, has a straight face not smiling and frowning. Yeah, Resting Bitch actually Face. actually looks mean. What is that? Um... What is it? I think that became a little a mini trend on TikTok where it was like the nicest guy in the room. And then you see the most meanest looking motherfucker. <laughs> 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 the nicest guy in the room is the most angry looking motherfucker, motherfucker ever. Uh, FR, for real. Yeah, that's true, for real. For real, st- is it? Are we in uh, Z? Nope. Wow. That's yeah, for real. They just added the extra for real. For real. For real. Um. And then you have wig. Um, what does it stand for? So, <clears throat> this is outdated. 2016 to 2018, my wig got snatched. It means you saw, you saw something so good you lost your wig. Snatched, which is now the current. Like she's snatched. Oh, right. okay, okay. Her That's waist is saying. snatched. The the fit is snatched. snatched. Okay, you're snatched type shit like okay. that word um do, 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 comes from the same phrase to look good or flawless on point flawless mm. on fleek only 2016 i remember that shit made it to to old it. people old people good morning america it made it a daytime television and they had to retire that motherfucker quick as shit that was crazy. Yeah, because she came out with eyebrow game on fleek in 2016, Word. and then it was automatically Word. shut down when they started mentioning it on TV shows. Word. So it didn't even last six months. I was re- I I, re- I um yeah re- read shit, up on that. Nah, that was nah, nah. That's why. Um, girl. Oh, when they were like girl, when they say girl, I guess that means no way, no way. shock or surprise uh-huh. or sis. It can be used to, uh, but can also be used towards men and non-family, an endearing way to refer to someone. Fam, unless this indicates the other, uh, otherwise. So it can be endearing, sis, sis. It can be in- endearing or condescending. Come on, sis. You know what I've learned also too. If if a Gen Zer has a uh, older brother and or sister, they tend to fuse their words. Right. So some of them will use. Like Sam, for example, she uses slay, and I know slay mm-hmm. is a Gen Z word, mm-hmm. but sometimes she'll say T T Y L. 
Word. Talk to you later. Word. Which is our which is our thing. So if she has an older sister or older or, or older brother, then of course she's gonna pick up both like you. Mm. You have you have um, Jeffy and I, but you also you and Julie. Julie's a Z, so Word. you pick up from both. So it's like uh, that's why I've learned. It's like um, the um, the adults that are in their um, um, early twenties to mid twenties, mm. they have both. Even if you're born in the two thousands, you, right. you know a lot more nineties right. than you do a two thousands. Two thousands is like the oh I can mix and match, but then. Uh, these younger kids will look at you like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Mm, so you can, it's like a, it's like a mask. You it's just, gobbledygook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what are, are you talking? All this gobbledygook. 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 All oh, is cacophony. <laughs> it's cacophony. What the fuck? Um. Okay, so Slay to do a great job. That's work. work. That's Z. I mean, that's that's millennial. M- Slay's millennial. Oh no, 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 no. This is this is uh, within the queer community. Oh, okay. So yeah, so S- queer sl- community and, and drag. So starting from wig up until where I said Slay. So Slay is like like yeah, y- Slay Queen, Slay yes. Oh, yes, okay, okay, that right. makes sense. Word. Um, and then you got work with. ER. Some people say twerk. <laughs> I'm going to twerk. twerk. Yeah. I'm <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I'm dead. All right. Shade. Shade. Kind of like a subtweet. It's an indirect. That's what it is. That's that's how people insult nowadays. Shade. They just throw shade. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's shade. True. That's true. Just shading. Indirect insults. That's it. Uh, tea, a story akin to gossip. Mm-hmm. Spill, an extension of tea. So it's like spill the tea. Someone tells you to spill. Yeah. What's the tea? Yeah. Spill. Um, can't say that word, <laughs> but it rhymes with stunt. Oh <laughs> 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 uh, um, shit! Oh fuck it! This shit. What's up? Are we triggered the fuck out of me when I kept hearing everyone, and then they would do the stupid hand shit. Yeah, it's giving. It's giving. It's giving. I'm just what's like, the, what's, the what's the word? Fuck, man. A way to make an observation while comparing it to something else with a connotation. Giving. Right. But it's, they did the hand gesture. It's giving. Like, they do the face. It's giving broke. It's giving. Oh, broke man energy. Yeah, it's giving uh, 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 something. It's it's always giving. Something's always giving. No, I bet. You know what I'm saying? I bet. Like, shit. You know? Um, <clears throat> It's giving... I don't know what this word is. What is that? Uh, did she put a definition to it? Or maybe it's a continuation. Oh, okay, okay. What's a chis chismosa? The um, okay, I guess. Um, serving, serving, killing it. Oh, she's serving. She served eight. That's right. Eight. I hear uh, that all the time. Oh, okay. she ate. He ate. Mm-hmm. Ate the whole sixteen bars. You know what I'm saying? Like oh. ate the beat. Oh, like we say, he's this, eating that nigga it. eating. He that it. nigga eating. Yeah, bro. I, I see. I feel, I feel. You it. You feel me? Like he it. ate. You feel me? So, uh, era. That person's defining era. Yeah, I'm in my blank era. Yeah, I'm in my da 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 era. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, gag shocked. Shocked. Um. Gen Z, you tell me all that was millennials. Mm-hmm. Wow, mm-hmm. that that feel I I I feel like that's what all the Gen Zers are, or is it all the older Gen Zers that are using? Right, because okay, it, that it, makes it's, sense. It's it's the because you gotta understand it's the younger millennials mm-hmm. and the older Gen Z. Gotcha. Okay. That are sharing these So anybody words. born in 2000, oh, 98 to 2000, 98, 2000, 2001 are the ones that are using right. still the, the, the right. millennial slingo and then also using the... Right. Okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. 
Um, so of course Riz, you could thank uh, Duke Dennis for that. He's the one that started that. He's the one who started gotcha. that. When someone has charisma in romantic endeavors, they have Riz. So something like akin to game, having mm-hmm. game, having mm-hmm. uh, sauce, uh, having uh, what, what's what's the word? Was it just game? game yeah, it was game. It was game for us, and and. That guy's got game. That's what I, we would used to say in the early 2000s. There's another word. There has to be another word. There has to be another word. There was another word that came after having game. Mm-hmm. What was it? Like when you're flirting with someone. Or like, you know. Try checking on your phone. Different word for word. having game. Word. Mm. Let's look up. Wasn't a did, didn't they come out with a word in like 2013 called chuggy? What <laughs> what is that? Off trend, out of touch, or trying too hard. It was created in 2013, but didn't get popular till 2021. And when adults started using it, they canceled it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, chuggy. Nah. So again, too, that was in the generation of Z. Nah. No, no, chuggy. not Z. No, that was in the generation of um, Alpha when they were being born, but Z was using it. I'll remember it. But, yeah, so that's Riz. Of course, Side Eye. Everyone knows. I, I always give Bombastic you the fucking Side Eye. I always give you a fucking Side Eye. Every time you say some shit that's out of pocket. <laughs> Bombastic that's how you side say some shit That's out of pocket, boy. That's crazy. I was like, bro, come on. Uh, man. Jeff's always like, <laughs> you tweaking. Uh, I don't um, know what you're talking about. So you got the side eye. Mm-hmm. Of course, the bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Um, do, do, do. Uh, uh, uh. Right, so one one might comment side eye to emulate the actual act of side glancing <laughs> at your peers to make sure they also witness the same thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, nah, these do- these notes are very detailed. Word, yeah. So you got sus for suspicious. I feel it. You yeah, can think among they, us for that. Yeah, but they use sus in the terms of. Oh, that thing went crazy. Yeah, you got sussy. You got sussy S- baka. Uh-huh. You got. That sus, mm-hmm. um, what you would call it? it? It referred to somebody doing something out of pocket, <laughs> right? Became mainstream as people tried to find the imposter. They shortened suspicious in the chats of the game. Um, also, a red flag. Red flag also became. It's still popular now. Yeah, red flag, green flag. Mm-hmm. Uh, so a behavior that should ra- red red. Uh, uh, whoa, a behavior that should raise. Uh, suspicion, green flag, a behavior to praise. Hey, we finally got a definition on beige flag. So beige flag. Yeah. Yeah, we did like a whole episode on right. that, and apparently, that. Yeah. apparently we got it wrong. So hopefully we got it dead ass wrong. Dead ass wrong. What so. the fuck? Um, I was born in the 1900s. Our beige flag, something weird that's not a red flag, but what may just be annoying or cute depending on how it's framed. Ah, so you and then I think that bleeds into X. Gotcha. So right. you don't. So the woman won't know whether mm-hmm. it is a red flag or an ick until you do it. Mm-hmm. If it is, or cringe as they say, then right. If it's cringe, then that's what's going to turn them ick. on. Uh, yeah, it, it, that's it could, what. It, See, it here's the potentially thing. Potentially go either way. Yeah, you it, you either be a beige flag mm-hmm. or it turns into an ick. Ick, yeah. So if you have some weird shit that you do and keep it secret, guys, or oh, you're gonna man. get you're gonna lose all your uh, your women. Oh yeah. See, living rent free. Now we just say rent free. Gotcha. Rent free. That's it. You just rent free. Um, living rent free. Something that occupies a lot of space in one's mind. The singing cat meme lives rent free in my head. Uh, valid, valid is an aff- affirmation. So you're valid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I fuck with you. You're valid. You know. Or what we used to say, like you said, I fuck with you. I fuck with you. Yeah. 
he, he cool people. But again, know. like you said, language is language is crazy. Like a lot, right. of, like because even some things, especially like, the English language. There's some things I still say. Oh, we Gucci. Yeah, yeah, and that's like the mid mid fifteens. Yeah, or word or I or yeah, we Gucci. Da da da. You know what I'm saying? Um, do do do. Miscellaneous. Uh, chase the bag. Yep. Secure the bag. What do they call it now? Um, you can use any of those. Okay. Because they're still relevant in different spaces, so you could definitely. Got to get that bag. Right. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Me, it's wage cooking. <laughs> That's it. Because I don't, I don't want to fucking chase the bag. No. <laughs> I don't want to chase. That's exhausting. What the fuck? Um, lit. Ooh, even lit's cringe now. But I still say it. Litty. Because that's that was my time. That was when I was partying. No, I feel it. When shit was lit. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like 2014 to 2016. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit was lit. Absolutely. Um. Do do do. Uh. It is derived from smoking culture. Let's get lit. Let's get high. And then it morphed into its own word. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because uh, if you get litty, then I mean, right. you go get high. But mm-hmm. now it turns out to, um, mm-hmm. it's exciting, it's awesome, it's mm-hmm. great. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's fire. Same as lit. <coughs> I say fire as well. Fire, I, I feel like. I stopped saying fire. You stop saying fire? Yeah, I don't say fire anymore. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. That's no, fire. No. Eh. I'm it older than feels, you. I'm feels, older than you and hey, I don't say it. That's fire. Stop it. That's fire. You're showing your age. I'd rather say I'd rather you say fire than lit. I don't say lit either. You never said it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, did okay. Exactly. Salty to be bitter. No, I don't say that anymore. No, I don't think anyone says. No, salt. I don't think anyone says salty anymore. I don't think anyone says so. Um, cap, of course, cap. Yep. Stop the cap. Big cap. Yep. Capper. King cap. <laughs> King Cappy, the coldest capper in in Compton, California. <laughs> Jeff, what, what, oh, are you doing? what are you doing? Alliteration, goddamn it! Uh, Don't you love English, <laughs> <laughs> right? I just speak English. I just speak it. English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? <laughs> you can't kill me, motherfucker. <laughs> oh man! Holy crap! Um. So cap, that's a lie. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? And then you could just add any different any type of adjectives. Adjectives or yeah. You know, adverbs and then cap. And yeah. that increases the power level of mm-hmm. the cap. Mm-hmm. You see yeah, especially the more caps you put on right. to Right. You see what I'm saying? That, that also like, shows how much bullshit that you're I, that's galactic cap. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You gonna have to go to space, for right? That. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like I gotta go to space to see oh, the entirety shit. of this bullshit. <laughs> You know, we, we need the James Webb to see the fuckery you're displaying. They're displaying. I got it. You know what I'm saying? Big cap. Um, so, bet. Easy. Yeah. I love bet. It's oh, perfect. It's still standing the test it, of time. It will stand the test of time it's like a month. It's just times. bet. Yeah. Ooh, got it. That's crazy. Got it. That's crazy. Remember I told you? Yeah, keep it on the. Keep it on the third leg. <laughs> That's what she says. Oh, dude. We good? We good? All right, we good. We're good. All right, we good. We're good. All right, we're good. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> we're good, guys. The camera didn't break. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. And then that motherfucker dolphin dives off the desk. <laughs> what? Um. So, bet. Yeah, bet. <clears throat> it's perfect. It's yeah. such a perfect word, bet. You can hear an entire fucking discussion. Bet. Mm-hmm. Word. Mm-hmm. I. I bet. All right. So that's an agreement. Mm-hmm. I agree. Uh, flex to show off. It used to be stunting. Gotcha. It used to be styling. Mm-hmm. Um, that's flex. Or I think now they use like motion. Like, you got no motion, or mm-hmm. I got motion, you ain't got no motion. Yeah. And that can be used in so many fucking... Like, Different ways. In so many ways. Like, in terms of money, you ain't got no motion. In terms of clout, mm-hmm. you ain't got no motion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In terms of fucking, I don't know, 
like drive, ambition, art, art, <clears throat> artistic, whatever, you got no motion. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah. So flex. And then you have weird flex, but okay. When someone brags about something unconventional. If someone says they're failing all their classes, you might say weird flex, but okay. As comedic relief to lighten the mood. Do people still say okay, boomer? I've never heard it. I never but heard that it. Could I think that only lived and died on the internet. Uh, like I said, I've never heard it, but that could be a thing. Wait, you've never heard okay, boomer? No. That's a pandemic thing. It's a pandemic thing. That That's what it was. I'm it's just, a pandemic thing. Like I said, man, I was born in the 1900s. No, no, no. It's a pandemic thing. Really? Yeah, it's a pandemic. So it didn't last that long. Right. That's why it's not included. These are miscellaneous. Okay. So, like, these were defined. These words came about uh, around culturally defining moments. Gotcha. So that's why a lot of these, you know. Uh, so, okay, Boomer. Uh, someone about 65 years old complains that no one wants to work and they spend too much money on Starbucks every day and that's why their generation can't afford housing. Oh, the, 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 we right. don't, we don't want to work. Right. <coughs> you know, so we just say, okay, boomer from the inability to have a conversation and understand nuanced topics with a loud group of the narcissists. So basically just dismissing them because you don't want to mm-hmm. listen to what they have to say. Right. Okay. That right. makes sense. You know, and I think that reaches the end of my list here. Again, Sam, we appreciate you for compiling this list together. We're able to firmly discuss it with our audience. Well, there's a lot more that's not in here, depending on the scenario you're involved in. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that, but I don't think that. No, we don't got to run. She, she was going to give us a no, time. Right, right, yeah. Right. So I, 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 I right, get right. that. But um, the, the question the question I have for you is, because I know that most of the, the, the slang words um, that are out in today's society come from music, politics, and the internet. And, and for me, it's like, I know words are constantly evolving, but it's like, do you... Can I add a disclaimer, though? Go ahead. Go ahead. Most of this is AAV. Which is African American vernacular. Most of this language came from hip hop and black culture. So music, uh, music and internet, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. black culture, a lot of that shit. Because <clears throat> um, everything that you, you literally said, the word "cool" came from fucking jazz. Yes, yes, it did. Nineteen thirties, nineteen thirties. You know what I'm saying? So if historically you're looking at a group of people as degenerates and da da da, degeneracy at its finest and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. No matter how you want to word that, mm-hmm. you know, for the time it came in, mm-hmm. no nig nog. Like, come on, bro. Let's be for real. <laughs> you focus on that Let's one too, but <laughs> be for real. You know what I'm saying? What so, is nig nog? That's just the only disclaimer I'll say. But mm-hmm. it is what it is. You know, I'm not gonna gatekeep no 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 no. And i really it, could it, care so my question for you was like where do you do you see us not even not even um speaking language uh sentences anymore do you just see it as uh like lmfao or lol you or know how everything consolidates and gets smaller it's just getting smaller, smaller and smaller yes yeah right N- <clears throat> next thing you know we will be speaking complete thoughts with one word fucking and then people would just understand what yeah, it is like less syllables until we can just i don't know mm-hmm. s- communicate communicate through subsonic <laughs> wave frequency whoa, 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 right whoa, 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 you know whoa. what i'm saying like i don't know like hey hey there will come a time where we will not have to speak at all because ai damn it <laughs> you gotta love it gotta love it no, no, but um, I'm, oh, that's dumb, guys. We kind of we didn't we didn't like go into a rabbit hole of slang because that would have been like like you were saying the five part series. Oh, dog, nah. Um, we kind of just wanted to understand um sl- uh the language of slang and where it de- uh, derived from and why it was created. Uh, again, too, is for vagabonds back in the day, but it it shifted. Ah, to- that's what it is. Sorry, go ahead, keep going. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead before you lose your thought. That's what it is. What? When I speak, I speak indirectly. Okay. Well, go ahead. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, no, but it it, it uh, essentially was <laughs> just said oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I keep cutting you off. I'm just like the brain, the brain, you know, the brain. I'm giving them a bombastic side eye while staring at the camera. The brain. Um. No, no, no. Yeah. So it's like um, trying to understand what slang is today, how it, how it has evolved from the 1600s to 2024, and where it might uh, essentially go into the future. Um, and I kind of, like I said, I kind of just got the idea based off of me just observing, and then um, Sam kind of helped with the research on on that. So we. Um, we're able to actually dive into it where it derived from how it has it evolved what stood the test of time and where that language might go into the future um, but no yeah just kind of wanted to give you guys a brief thing and something different it's like a brief history I'm not You're dog Finkel I'm not a I'm, I'm not a historian I don't claim to be so uh, <laughs> take everything I say with a grain of salt what do they call anthropologists anthropologists yeah I want to be but you see what I'm saying? Like, hey, historian of people and cultures, you know? Yeah, yeah. But no, we have to have a word. Yep. We have to have a word for everything. Mm-hmm. There needs to be a word for, for every, every single piece of reality. That's why I hate English. Mm-hmm. It's like, dog. Again, too, and that's why a lot of people, jokes-wise, don't understand unless you're in that culture. Right, because you need, you need to define every single piece of the 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 thought that you're trying to get across and yeah i hate that yeah oh. i hate that that's yeah. why when you hear like haitian stand-up comedians mm-hmm. versus american stand-up comedians yeah it's like the jokes just they hit you they understand hit. You because one word in creole means 30 different things so the wordplay is fucking insane exactly so you see what i'm saying even if a spanish person is listening to it and one of the words stand out they're gonna be like well that doesn't make any sense right but like it would still translate well if you told the joke in spanish yes you see what i'm saying like language that have uh uh, conjugations and verbs and shit like Mm -hmm. that or like specific gendered words and shit like Mm -hmm. that like you could fuck around with the word look at what they do with uh, um, Japanese and, 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 so, kanji or katakana or kanji or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, look at how they'll <sighs> manipulate the words to mean multiple things. Yeah, yeah. No, you know I, I've seen that, like, um, uh, you know every time saying? Naruto said, cause, uh, it meant something different. Well, even Naruto, that's his name, mm-hmm. but it also means the swirl, but mm-hmm. it's also a cake, a fish cake. Yeah. It's, it means so there's many so, things. There's so many things, yeah. Right. But depending on the context in which you're using, which is inferred, because mm-hmm. you just know it's a culturally just no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I feel it. I so feel I can it. make a joke that means, a mi- okay, when I say sa sa, sa la, mm-hmm. sa sa sa, that meant three different fucking the things. Things, yep. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So it's like, you know, in English, I have to define every yep. single thing. That's that. Thing. You know what I'm that's saying? That's there. That is Take that there, and put it, put it there. there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's sa, that. sa, sa, mid, sa, la. Yeah. You know? Put that there, yeah. Pon, exactly. sa, sa, mid, la. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Take like, that's, that and put that there. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I get, I get you it. You know? Man. I get it. So, if English continues to evolve, I think that's where it's going to go. It's just going to condense. Short. Yeah. Short sounds. Mm-hmm. That's why I love the word bet. Yeah. Cause I can just say bet. It's universal. It's, it's universal. Cer- yes. Yeah. Bet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I see it going. Okay. All right. All right. That's um, where I see it. Going. You got any final thoughts, sir? Uh no, sir. All right. No, sir. Ski. All right. No, sir. Ski. No, sir. Ski. All right. All right. Take us home, guys. Thank you for the historic edition of uh, Tabletop Topics. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and day, and we'll see you on Thursday. See ya! See ya!